Virgo, welcome back to the channel Earth Sign. It's me, Tony, with another channel tarot card message for the collective divine. Let's get right into your reading today and see what spirit wants you to know. If this is your first time at Emperor's Light. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you can take advantage of more of the readings that's going to be coming through this channel. We already have a lot on the channel for you to explore, right? And if this, mes this message resonates with you today, don't forget to like the video. So, yeah. Share with friends, share with family so that we can continue to grow the soul tribe. We're going to get into your therapeutic uh, message today and see what spirit wants you to know about your current uh, romantic partnerships, incoming relationships, your energetic love connections, right? Let's see here. Let's see if we can fit this message into a 10 minute reading today. I just did Leo's, and I was at the end of the reading, but it shut off before I could finish. <laughs> Man, I hope that doesn't become too big of a trend. I don't know if I should talk faster <laughs> or uh, channel less amounts of cards. <laughs> I'm doing like two rows of cards, so I guess I need to shorten it down to one row. But that'll be after this. we finish up these series of readings and lectures. So let's get into it, Virgo. What does spirit want you to know in regards to your energetic connections, your love connections, what's coming towards you, right? It's your current energies. Grounding your reading today, Virgo, Earth sign. We have the moon card. Mm. Cancerian, Piscean energy here. So again, I mean, more in line with Virgo being very private, you could be holding secrets. Or the person that's coming towards you could be holding secrets. This could be a secret admirer. King of Swords energy. Mm. Someone's writing a book on you. This is like, uh, oof, man. I remember I was in elementary school one time and uh, my notebook spilled over. And on one of the pages, I was like um, <laughs> writing a girl's name in like fancy colors and stuff like that. So this could be someone, I don't want to necessarily say they have a shrine of you inside of their closet. It, it can't be that extreme. But um, yeah, someone's taking notice of you pretty much is what I'll say. Yeah, page of swords. Yep. They're spying on you. This could actually be like a teacher or something like that, or a student. If you're a student, mm, if you're a student, this could this could be a teacher that's coming towards you, or if or vice versa. If you're, um, yeah, <laughs> a lot. It's a lot of social media vibes as well. And this person is very smart. This person is very intelligent. That's why they have to be a student because a student is forever learning. They value knowledge just like a teacher. Yeah, this could be someone with. Uh, like a writer or something like that, an author, an illustrator, possibly, you know, a, a cartoonist. This could also be someone with a social media platform. Maybe they record a lot, right? Some sort of a director or editor. They're, they're definitely into writing here. Six of Swords. Yeah, it's their way of therapeutic release. They may even enjoy, enjoy writing about you, right? We see documentaries of, uh, you know, animal documentaries. Who do you think are the people that make animal documentaries? People that love animals and love watching animals, right? We see documentaries on history. Who do you think made those documentaries? People that love to look back on history and enjoy watching history. Now, someone's making a, uh, I would say someone's making a documentary of, of you. So who would you think would make a documentary of you other than yourself, an autobiography? Someone that is infatuated with you here. Now, this could be a doctor as well like a family doctor mm -hmm. the strength card leo so this person is very they have a very strong presence here um or they give off very strong energy they could have very strong dna right something that was possibly passed down to them like if they're a strong writer maybe they have parents that was a writer or something like that or grandparents that were journalists or something like that I'm getting like old botanical books and stuff like that. Maybe, um, yeah, it's some sort of a generational talent they have for writing or thinking here. The devil showing up, obsession, earthly activity. Could be seen as karmic, but uh, not always, right? Um, Batman is looked at as a vigilante, right? Even to cops. The cops look at him as a bad guy. But to most criminals, yeah, they're afraid of Batman because why? I mean... And it doesn't even matter who it is. It doesn't have to be bad, man. Anyone that kicks your ass, you're going to be afraid of them or you're going to think that they're a bad guy, right? So the devil, Capricorn, on a boss, right? Again, to elaborate more, who enjoys uh, working hard or who enjoys their boss hovering over them? 
or uh, yeah. Oh, so that's what this is. Your, your boss is taking note of you here. So yeah, that's what I was getting the teacher and the student vibes here. I mean, your boss could very well be. I mean, when the boss focuses on you, it's either for a good reason or a bad reason. But with this being a love message or an admirer here, and then we have three of cups showing up on top of the king of cups. So someone's been taking good notes of you here or someone has nice things to say about you. The page of cups. Yeah, some sort of a crush. You could be amused. This could they could be like, well, now this is a model worker here. Now, this is I need more employees like this <laughs> comes out on top of page of swords, page of cups and page of swords. So, yeah. You could be working with a community of young people as well. This could, be, this could be like a youth pastor or something like that. Page of Pentacles, more pages on top of Six of Swords. So this is a small investment into someone can win like a little small like spelling bee or something like that. Or like a, this could be like the honor roll. Yeah. Winning like the spelling bee or winning some sort of a writing tournament or program or something like that. There's a little some sort of a small offer or gift. I know when I was in elementary school, all the kids that were on a roll, that were on honor roll, if y'all remember, if y'all remember Dare and Say No to Drugs, I know y'all remember the little wheel thing, the little, I won't say pizza wheel, it was kind of like a Wheel of Fortune wheel and it had tickets from every different like fast food restaurant or attraction place, yeah, so it could be something like that, <laughs> or again like an honor roll, here goes your uh, your paper that says you're, you, you were in the honor roll this, this year or you're the student of the month. I was student of the month once. We have three of swords. So someone feeling like they're not getting enough attention or this could be third parties. It comes out on top of strength. Ooh, this could be a lack of confidence here or someone could be hiding their confidence here is what I'm getting. Mm. Seven of cups, the smoke screen, the illusions on top of the devil. Now, what could that possibly mean? Now you can have a lot of people obsessed with you here. Yeah, so you have more than, ooh, yeah, three pages. Yeah, you have more than, you have, it's almost like, it's almost like a whole bunch of people that you're teaching. Um, yeah, I, I guess you're like the favorite teacher or something like that, because I'm not sure if this is romance, right? I mean, unless you're old enough. I mean, technically, a college kid, 18 years old, they're old, they're old enough to participate sexually with their professor, right? Although, you know, people hate it, right? Women are like, oh, you, you you date that young girl. But yeah, you but yet you act, you put on makeup to look young, just like that young girl. Yeah, makeup, the illusions. Yeah, toxic. Um, yeah, women hitting the wall and losing their beauty, right? They always try to bash a man for liking younger women, right? You've had your time anyway, so why are you mad? You should have made some, something of it while you had it. Anyways, we have... Yeah, someone's attracting a lot of youthful energy. Now, this could very well be a woman as well attracting a lot of youthful energy, right? Again, the favorite teacher. We've seen stories and we've watched movies about it all the time, right? Stifler's mom and all that. We have the devil and strength. So we have seen we have someone very beautiful here. They're very attractive. They have a lot of people obsessed with them, the moon card. So nurturing energy, I mean, if it's, I mean, again, masculine men could be teachers if this is what this is. It's just could be uh, uh, someone very nurturing, a very nurturing masculine, right? Some sort of a leader here, but they lead in a, in like a very open and, em and empathetic way, very intuitive way. They care about the people that they uh, they're teaching here. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Leo. Yeah, very strong personality here. This the Leo uh, coming out in the strength is the Morning Star, which is the sun is beaming down on me right now. About to start sweating. And then the devil is known as an earthbound celebrity, right? He was one of the angels that wanted to come down and save people, right? But we get the message misconstrued. We have three pages. Could be dealing with a lot of students or a lot of children, right? This could be a parent that is teaching their children. This could be like homeschooling your children or something like that. The king of swords, writing, right? Again, some sort of a heirloom or uh, something in the DNA passed down. I was passed down a lot of book knowledge from my dad, and I was passed down a lot of street knowledge from my mom. Now we have three and three, three of cups and three of swords. A lot of okay, so you're a heartbreaker here. A lot of people are in love with you here. Again, once a man marries one woman, he breaks the heart of every other woman that was in love with him, and women as well. So everyone has a decision to make: six of swords into seven of cups. The illusions, right? Trying to get out of this. Um, well, the six of swords is a vacation. The Seven of Cups is almost giving off someone trying to enjoy their time here. So this could be just leaving behind.